Hi folks, welcome back to the shop. Today I want to talk about this new Klein Tools Connect impact rated flip socket set. All right, so there's a total of 10 sockets in this set, but because they're flip sockets, you actually have 20 different socket sizes. How do these sockets work? If I take this one on the side here and pull it out, you'll see here that this 11 16ths SCE socket, flip it around, it's 13 16ths. Now the two sockets on the outside are 3 H drive sockets, and the two sockets on the far left are 3 H drive sockets. The six sockets in the center are driven by these shafts you see here. You have a six inch shaft and you have a two and three quarter inch shaft. So let's look at that. Now the sockets on the outside are three H drive sockets. So we can take one of these sockets out, take the three H drive adapter out of this set, inserts right into the end of this flip socket. Okay, and you'll notice it looks like it has a Klein pass-through ratchet type adapter. And of course it is, it works with Klein's Connect M series ratchet. Put that right on there and, and turn that socket. You'll notice it also has a 3H drive end on it, which means you can take a standard 3H drive ratchet and you can drive this socket. Or, and this is what's really interesting to me, is you can go over here and take this quarter inch drive, either one of these, and you'll notice here on the end of this socket, there's yet a third way to connect. That's right in the center with this quarter inch spline drive. I can take this, put it in there, and now I can drive the socket. Several different ways to drive the socket. Now, remember, there's a cullet in the Impact 11-in-1 ratcheting Klein screwdriver. If I pop this out, there it is. Take this guy, pop it in here. Now you can turn it with the Klein ratcheting screwdriver. So you can see there's a lot of different ways to drive this socket, right? You have the Klein screwdriver, you have impact driver, you can drive it with a 3 8 ratchet, you can drive it with Klein's pass-through ratchet, you can even drive it, of course, with an impact wrench. Take a 3 8 impact wrench, I've got an adapter on here. And you can turn this guy with that. So you got five different options to turn this 3H socket. Now the same is true if you go over here to the metric side, take off these two metric side sockets, same thing. Adapt into this, take your impact driver, you can drive these sockets as well. And of course you can use a standard 3 inch extension with these flip sockets as well. So you can see it can just pop right in there, flip it around, get the other size. So you can also use a standard 3H drive extension. Now how do the other sockets work? I can take out this socket here, it's half inch. 9 16 a typical colors Klein uses for those sockets. And I can take out this driver here, put the driver right there in the socket, put it on the impact, and now I'm driving these sockets. Flip it around, now I got the 9 16 on there. So that's how these work. What's great about this though is I can take this out of the impact, and we've got this cullet and this Klein 11 one rashing driver, and now I can turn these with the Klein 11 one So I have that option. Now if I wanted to use a ratchet, you can take Klein's 3 8 pass-through ratchet, install a quarter inch adapter on it, and now I'm driving this socket with the ratchet. So these are compatible with the ratchet as well, so you have options on how to drive these smaller sockets as well. Now let's take a look at this six inch extension they have here. So just like the shorter one, you can pop the sockets on here. This gives you the ability to stow a second bit. You just have two on here, so you can pack them out with you, a lot like Klein's six and one or seven and one flip bit system. So that's pretty neat. You can pack them out, put them in a bag and take them with you. Now you might be wondering if this is compatible with Klein's 14 and one adjustable screwdriver. You can see it has the 12 bits in the carousel or is it compatible with the 21 from Klein which are all very similar and you can see they have this shank inside of them. And I'm gonna take off the flip bit on the end and we're gonna compare them here real quick. But if you take a look, you'll see that there is no magnet on the one that comes with this deep well flip bit set. And that makes sense because they're deep well sockets. There is a magnet on the Klein 14 and one. Otherwise they have that same sort of spline design here with these corners on it. So you can take this and, and let's see if it'll work with these sockets, the one off the 14 and one. So I can pop that on there, put this on the 14 and one, it fits, right? Also, I could take this shorter extension I can pop that in here, and let's see if this will work in the 14-1 handle. And it does, it clicks right into place. You can see that there's some space here for it to clear at the base of the cullet. So it does work with the 14-1. So nice to see this interoperability between Klein tools. So all of it works together. Now let's take a closer look at the sockets here. You can freeze frame that and see all the sizes, and I'll have a link in the description. You can see on the SCE side, they each socket increments end on end. So it's a quarter inch to 5 16 3 8 to 7 16 half inch to 9 16 5 8 to 3 quarter inch, and so on. To go over to the metric side, 
So you get starts here at size eight, but then the nine goes over to the next socket, and then you come down here to the 10, and then you go over to the 11, and then the 12, and then the 13, and then the 14, and then the 15. So you can see they're laid out a little differently for the metric sockets. All the sockets, of course, are laser etched, and they're color-coded rings on them. Uh, of course, you have a six inch extension here, and this is two and three quarters inch, and this is two and a half. I got a little extra compartment here. I really like that because you can take things like this 3H driver, put that in there, and you got a place to store those. Of course, the sockets come in Klein's mod box system. What's that mean? You got this nice box that it comes with. There's mod box around the front. When you shut this lid, it self latches. You don't have to remember to latch this lid. It's spring tension, so I can push that off. Lid comes right up. Nice clear lid on it, so you can see if you got all the pieces in here. You can tell what this is when you glance at it, so you know exactly what this is. It's not one of your other mod box sets. If you look at the bottom of the mod box, it has, like all mod boxes, it has a standard rule here on the bottom up to nine inches. And the mod box has a clip on the back. And how does that work? Well, I can set this down. I can take another mod box, put it on top, push down, it clips right in, put another one on top of that, clips right in. And now you can see that all these are bound together. Easy to pack this out, easy to build your own kit, whatever you would like. And what I really like about this is that they're easy to take apart. They're modular, so you just grab this, pull this clip in the back, it's spring tensioned, right? I pull that clip, it comes right off. So I can take these and I can just grab that clip quickly break it down to what I want to get out of the set. Now, nice thing about mod box is you can open these boxes without having to unstack them. So I can pull a socket out of here, take out the adapter. I can go to this middle box, take out this Klein 3 8 pass through ratchet, and I can set this up and not have to unstack these mod boxes. Really like the fact they've put this in the mod box set. To me, it's a really great piece of kit here. Another thing I like is all these sockets, they come out very easily. I can just tip them forward and they pop right out. Not like a lot of blow mold cases where the sockets are forced in there and, and you find yourself fighting to get the sockets out. Well, you don't have that problem with this set. They're very easy to remove no matter which socket you're trying to get out. You can see I can just flip them all forward at the top, seat them back in at the bottom, push them in at the top. They all come out very easily. So an excellent socket set from Clown. Very impressed with this. Uh, let me know what you think of this in the comments. You think about getting one, would this be helpful for you? What do you think of the fact you have both metric and SAE in the same socket set? How about that? So I think it's a really nice piece of kit. I think it's really amazing how you can use this with all these different drivers, right? We can use it with the impact. We can use it with the Klein's ratcheting screwdriver. We can use it with our standard 3 8 ratchet. We can use it with Klein's pass-through ratchet. So a lot of versatility with this set. Very impressed with this. So with that said, please remember to like and subscribe. All those actions help me to continue to bring content to you on this channel. And with that said, I'll see you in the next video.